All right, hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. My hair is in a low, I like to call this my colonial hairstyle, which means like, I look like I'm from colonial times, like I churn butter. But anyways, um, it's a snow day. So I'm working from home today. Um, it's trade show season, so there's a lot going on. So it's kind of like a crappy time to be snowed in, to be honest. But I'm not mad about it because well, my books are here. So I just have like, I'm not confined to one book for my 30 minute break. I can like hop around. Um, but one thing I've decided for the year is that I have too many physical books that I own that I have not read. Um, I'm currently at... 161 that I own and have not read. I was at 162, but I finished one this morning before work. So I finished Heartless by Elsie Silver. Five out of five stars. It was really cute. Do I have the physical book with me? I read it and tossed it before my work day started. Anyways, my upper lip is also shiny because I have Vaseline on it. Because Cold weather means runny nose, which means dry skin. And Vaseline is the best for getting rid of dry skin. I also have Kingdom of the Cursed. I'm like 150 pages into this, so I'm hoping to make some progress on this later today, on my break, and then again after work. So I think this is going to be the series of the year, is getting through my physical TBR. I have two books on the way. One is The New Crescent City. That is really obnoxious. The other is the fifth Chestnut Springs book. I have the first of the Gold Rush Ranch series. So I'm probably going to buy the rest of that series this year. It just, it's give and take, you know, it's give and take. Um, but I've been stuck around like the 160, 150 mark for like a really long time. So I want to dedicate my time to it this year to really get it down and like really control myself. Um, the goal is to ideally, I would love to be that person that like only has a physical TBR of like 30 to 50 books, maybe less, but I'm going to continue working. I have a bunch of stuff to do today. Um, and then I'll fill you in on my reading as, as the day progresses. It's another work from home day. It's not like crazy outside, but there's supposed to be some freezing rain later. So I'm working from home again. I need to put a little bit of makeup on because I do have a Zoom call later, but also my hair is like, I just needed it out of my face. Um, it's probably gonna end up in a bun later, but yeah, so I'm working from home. Trying to finish up this trade show stuff. Just had some breakfast, did my skincare. That is the one thing I like about working from home is I can like pace out my morning routine. I don't have to do like a mad dash sprint in the morning, but I do really miss my double desktop screens. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I work in marketing. I do like graphic design sometimes and so there's a lot of drag and drop between screens and I'm working on a tiny laptop screen and that just, just doesn't do it for me. So yeah, I'm just waiting on confirmation on a couple of things that I've sent off 
So I'm gonna just like tinker around with some other things I was working on but aren't like urgent. So, oh, I can tell someone is looking at my stuff right now. So hopefully I get an email back soon. The wind is crazy today. Um, but while I'm waiting for people to answer my emails, I'll give you some reading updates. So I finished Heartless by Elsie Silver. It was a five-star read. Um, it was really cute. I love Kate Eaton. I love a broody MMC. And the FMC just had like spunk. She was fun. And one thing I have to say, Elsie Silver is really good at writing children. I often find, like I'm currently reading the sixth Outlander book. And the kid in that book is written so annoyingly. When he's on the page, I'm pissed off. I'm just annoyed. Like, get him out of here. But Elsie Silver did a really good job of writing, like, an accurate depiction of a child. So I really liked him. He was really cute. Then Kingdom of the Cursed. I'm about 150 pages in, maybe more. I'm hoping to make some progress in that today on my break and then after work. Um, I'm about, I'm almost 100 pages into To Sir Philip with Love. Another little fun romance. I've made no progress on the Outlander book. But then again, it's like, even if I was reading it, does, is that making progress? Because nothing happens. And then I think I'm going to try to read this one next. So we're making progress on my 162 books that I have physically that I need to read. I really want to stay focused this year. I really like don't want to get out of control and just buy a bunch of books and like ruin my progress. Whoa, almost dropped to there. But yeah, so we'll see how this goes. I'm feeling good about it. And I think I just need to prioritize buying other things because I'm like, mm, like, what's like a nice little treat? Let's start buying stuff for the apartment. How about that? Um, or clothes. Maybe I'll switch to clothes, but gotta stop treating myself with a book. One thing I will say though, I will be purchasing the Gold Rush Ranch series, which is the, like, Off to the Races is the first one. That's also by Elsie Silver, which follows the youngest Eaton, Violet, in book two, which is really exciting. So, like, her Chestnut Springs and her Gold Rush Ranch are, like, loosely, loosely connected. Um... And I might end up buying some Penelope Douglas and some Mariana Zapata. I don't know. I'm really in a romance phase, so I want to try to get through the romances that I have. And then I'll switch. But anyways, I'm going to get back to work now. All right, hey, y'all. Um... First day back in the office. Um, I probably shouldn't have though. The main roads are clear, but like my road, she's not clear. Um, I just got home and I'm honestly baffled that I drove down that crazy road at like 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> That's like very unsafe of me and really out of character for me. I really don't like driving in the snow. But I was like, I have deadlines. I cannot do them from my little laptop. I need to get to work. So look what I found just in time for Valentine's Day. I got one. <laughs> Doesn't stop there. Two. And then the third one. These are all from Dollarama, by the way. Aren't they so cute? They were, I mean, he's a little chipped, but for $2.50 each, whatever. I might actually touch that up with some white nail polish, but aren't they so cute? Like, look at these little things. That's so cute. All right, so here's my little grocery haul. Ignore my ripening bananas. I'm going to make some banana bread. So I got some Boom Chicka Pop. These are the white cheddar puffs. They're so good. Got some sushi for dinner. Eggs, lettuce, mandarin oranges, a cucumber, broccoli, green bell peppers, milk, gotta have that Coke Zero. I got some smoked Gouda, some RX bars, some vegan butter, and some cheese and some lean ground beef. I have some stuff like in the freezer, 
that I want to make sure I use up. So that's kind of the plan there. But yeah, that's the haul. That's what I've got. So I'm going to put that all away and then I'll give you some reading updates. All right, groceries are put away, slippers are on, cozy sweater is on. I'm chilling. Happy Friday. Um, so in terms of reading updates, I've really only been focusing on these two. So to Sir Philip with Love and Kingdom of the Cursed. I just passed the 100 page mark in this one. It's quite cute. Um, I don't know that it's my favorite. Bendix's story is actually still my favorite, which is why I'm sad that they're skipping over his season. Like, they're going straight to Collins, but Benedict was supposed to be first. And then Kingdom of the Cursed. I am just past the 200 page mark. I think now that I'm like used to it, I'm actually enjoying this book a lot more. But the first book was like no spice. Like they share, sorry if this is a spoiler, um, they share one kiss, the MMC and the FMC. In this book, Homegirl just wants to rip her clothes off. <laughs> it was very startling. So now that I'm like used to it, I'm actually enjoying it a lot more. And I'm intrigued to see where the rest of the series goes. Or the rest of the book goes actually um but that's all the updates I have I'm kind of just taking it easy tonight just because the roads are so bad I'm gonna stay home I might do some cleaning probably not <laughs> um but I'm just gonna hang out I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix do some reading and just vibe I'm at the happiest place in the world the bookstore I have to pick up an order and I might buy one more. Only if they have it though. Um, there's also a lady behind me. She was being so silly. I was like, she just stopped at a four way and just like wouldn't go. And I'm behind her and I'm like, hey, like I do have places to be today. But anyways, my hair looks really funny and stuck in my jacket. Um, I'm gonna go pick up the book. I might pick up a second book and then I'm going to head to my parents' house because it's my grandma's birthday today. And I have some final updates. Um, last night you saw I made some banana bread that was very wholesome and cute of me. Um, but yeah, so I finished, I started and finished to Sir Philip with love. Um, I'd give it like a 3.25. I thought it was fun and cute, but Benedict's story is still by far my favorite. Him and Anthony. And then on my lunch break today, I finished Kingdom of the Cursed. I put the dust jacket on for you. Um, I'd give this one like a 3.75. I liked it much better than the first. Um, initially I didn't though. I didn't think I was going to like it as much, but here we are. Um, I do have a friend coming over tonight. We're having a little wine night, girls night. I think we're going to grab some sushi as well. I don't know if I'll film. I probably won't. I tend to do that, hey? Um, but that's all from me. And I'll see you in the next one of getting my TBR down. Um, I feel like we made some good progress. I'm excited to see how the rest of this year goes. However... I did buy two more, didn't I? And the new Sarah J. Bass one has shipped, so technically three more. And then in this vlog, you saw me buy Hopeless, so technically four more. When does it end? When does the insanity end? I feel so bad for my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm like, if you move in with me, you're moving in with all these books, so get used to it. But anyways. I'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.